In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to very quickly color grade your image using gradient maps in Photoshop. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have the adjustments panel visible, as well as the properties, and then of course the layers panel. If you don't see all of these panels, go up to Window and select them from the list. I'm going to start out by adding a gradient map. In the adjustments panel, I'm going to click the very last selection, which is the gradient map, to add it to my image. Now by default, it's going to just look like a typical black and white conversion. And that's because the default gradient that it sets is a black and white gradient. To change this, go into the properties panel and click on that gradient, and the gradient editor will pop up. Here you can see a bunch of other gradients and you can click on them to see what they do. And of course, these are way too crazy for a typical photograph. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to change that, but just real quickly, I want to explain what the gradient map is doing. If you look down at this gradient that I have selected below, you can see that it starts with a very deep purple and it fades into a bright orange. And then if you look over at the image, those deep purples are going to apply or map to the darker areas. And then that's going to fade all the way over to that orange area, which is going to apply to the light areas. So anything on the far left of this gradient is going to apply to the dark areas. Anything on the far right is going to apply to the light or bright areas. And then everything else is just gonna fall kind of in the middle. Now let's go ahead and apply a more suitable gradient for this photograph. In the presets on the top, I'm gonna to click on that little gear icon, and I'm gonna select the photographic toning pack. And this is a default pack that comes with Photoshop. Now I'm gonna click OK, which is going to replace all of those existing presets. If you'd like to still keep those default presets available, uh, just click the append button and it really won't make that much of a difference. So I clicked OK, and now all of those presets were replaced with a little bit more suitable photographic toning presets. Now I'll go ahead and choose one of these and it's still not quite looking the way I want it to. I have to go into my layers panel and make a few adjustments. So I'll click OK in this gradient editor. And then down in the layers panel, I'm gonna change my blending mode down to soft light. Now this adds a little bit of contrast to the image. If I toggle this on and off, you can actually see that difference. And if you don't want it to be that intense, just drop your opacity down. But after you've made the changes in the layers panel, you can go back into those properties and change the preset inside of the gradient editor. So now I can go through all of these and just kind of see what they're doing to my image, see if maybe I can find something that I like to work well with this photograph.